Hi and welcome to Beginner SEO. Um, in this short video we're going to look at search engines and a quick overview of how they work. So let's take initial um, cloud here as representing um, the web or the internet and we're going to look at how search engines actually e extract data from the web and what they do once they have extracted that data. So the search engines start with a crawler module. In that crawler module, um, they send out spiders or, or uh, crawlers, or, or the most famous is the Googlebot, gets uh, constantly being sent out to the internet or the web to um, go to websites, to crawl those websites, uh, extract data from them, i.e. web pages, and bring that data back. Um, and they're doing that all the time when they bring that data back they put them in a page repository and this page repository is just used to uh, temporarily store um, these the web pages that it brings back as full complete web pages so these web pages remain there until they're sent to an indexing module and the indexing module will strip the content from these web pages and in particular key um, pieces of content um, and this is where you might be most familiar with um, SEO and this is where it starts to kick in. They're extracting key elements like the title tag or description tag or data about images, um, internal links and basically what the indexing module is doing it's, it's providing a really condensed summary of each web page like a cliff note if you will. Next, these indexing modules output their data into a different set of indexes. And these index indexes can be of different types. For example, you might have a content index, you might have a video index or an image index. And you see this, in, for example, in Google's search engine results page where you will get different pieces of information sent back or you can choose just to look at video results or just image results or just content. So all of this is going on regardless of whether or not a search is ever actually executed on Google's uh, search engine results page. So that's going on all the time. Search engines are going out, uh, in uh, crawling the web, bringing it back, putting it into a page repository, breaking the pages down into uh, just summaries of each page. That's why it's so important when you're thinking about optimizing your website and web pages that you make it easy for the search engines to determine relevancy or not. Um, and then those indexing modules are breaking down those summaries into indexes. And this is where you want to be. You want to be in the content index or the video index or the image index or whatever it is for you. So next thing, somebody comes along to a search engine, let's say Google, and they type in a query. What happens then? this query gets sent to a query module which breaks down the the query into a language that the search engine can understand in other words machine language um, and the query module will extract thousands and thousands of results back from the different indexes uh, and it will pass all of this these results to a ranking module and the ranking module has the job of filtering and um, putting in, in rank the results that are ultimately sent back to the user. Um, the ranking module looks at two different uh, ways or two different uh, algorithms if you will. It looks at the contents um, score which it takes from the index and then it looks at the popularity score and combines those two together and each of the search engines do this differently and they, then they send it back to the search engine results page and that's what you see. So that's a quick overview of how a search engine works. It goes out to the web, crawls the web, brings back the data. It um, strips the data and condenses it down into a set of cliff, note, cliff, cliff notes, if you will, just summaries of web pages. It stores them in indexes then. Then when a query is executed, the query module will go into these indexes and say, give me all the pages that are relevant to this particular query. That query module then will send that information to the ranking module and the ranking module based on the 
content relevance, we'll also look at the popularity relevance and send back the query to the user. So that's a quick overview of how a search engine works. I hope it illustrates how important it is to get your SEO factors all lined up so that the indexing module can put your pages into the appropriate index. Thanks for listening.